Now to a dramatic video of a hit and run. We want to warn you, some of this may be difficult to watch. Overnight, a car slammed through the side of a Coney Island. Police saying it's a miracle no one was seriously hurt. Tonight we are hearing from the restaurant's manager and 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay has more on what played out last night. Kiara. Amir, that is such a hard video to watch. I spoke to the store owner who says five to six customers were inside the time that that car smashed into the building. And as you can see, leaving so much damage. They seem to be busy at work. Earlier, there was piles of brick that were just cleaned up. But as you can see, they put up plywood. But the damage to this restaurant is so severe. But the owner says she's just thankful that no one was seriously hurt. Around 1 o'clock this morning, a man driving a tan SUV smashes into Zorba's Coney Island on Detroit's east side, where several customers stood waiting to get their food. One customer smashed up against the glass. My boss and some of our, my co-workers literally had to push pry the door open to lift this big brick up off of her. Store manager Lisa Foster says it's a miracle no one was seriously hurt. Someone could have been killed. He could have actually killed someone. He is the man in the black coat getting out of the car. Foster says people inside the restaurant saw him staggering out. In surveillance video, you can hear a woman passenger yelling out, I knew it. I knew it! So evidently she knew that he was intoxicated. He staggered and tried to hide behind our garbage can. She pulled the car out, went around to the garbage can, and was screaming his name, Lorenzo, Lorenzo. Both people took off in the truck. Detroit police say they have identified the two, but the investigation is ongoing, saying in quote, the video is disturbing and troubling to say the least. The suspects clearly have no regard for human life and they need to do the right thing and turn themselves into authorities immediately. Looking into the restaurant, you can see the tables, the chairs and the booths just smashed right up to the counter, which is really heartbreaking to hear. I spoke to the owner today who says she just got done spending $350,000 renovating this restaurant. So she says she hasn't slept. This is really hard on this family owned restaurant that's been open since 1986. So we will continue to follow this story live in Detroit, Kiara. Hey, 7 Action News. The manager clearly shaken up, understandably so, and just again, so glad that nobody was seriously hurt. Kiara, thank you for that live report.